it's Millie and thank you guys for jumping into the Nick realm with me today and this video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be talking about how I rate my book and what star ratings I end up giving. So just to start off with this video, my way of rating my books and how I determine which books I end up liking or not literally has nothing to do with the correct way to read books, analyze books, and rate books. It's just my own way of doing it and I wanted to share it with you guys that way whenever I do any of my book recommendations or my reading wrap-ups and I'm giving a star rating you guys kind of understand um, what that means to me and why I ended up giving the book the rating that I ended up giving it. Um, so to start off with I do DNF books every now and then. I try not to, but I also know that when I'm reading through a book and I'm not enjoying it and I'm trudging along through it, it always ends up putting me in a reading slump and then it affects how I interpret other books afterwards and also just like the rate and the pace of which I'm reading and so instead of going through a reading slump, I'd rather DNF. So even though I don't like to DNF, which is did not finish a book, I would rather do that than put myself in a situation where I end up in a reading slump. So that being said, at the very bottom of my rating system is DNF, which means I started the book, but I didn't like it enough to finish it. Now sometimes I DNF books because I'm reading it, I'm just really not enjoying it, and I just know it's not the book for me. Sometimes I'm reading it and I don't really find a problem with the book, but it's not catching my attention and so Therefore, I also know it's not the right book for me. And sometimes I have what I call these little like baby DNFs where I'm reading a chapter or two, I'm really enjoying it, but I know that I'm not in the right mindset to be reading this book. And if I continue, my rating is gonna probably end up a lot lower than it would have been at a different time. And so I do kind of like a hold on the book and I just kind of put it aside um, with full intentions to pick it up at a later date. Um, so then afterwards we have our one star ratings and honestly one star ratings I almost never give them out and that's because if I see that a book is already starting to head towards being a one star a really low rating I just DNF the book so honestly I don't have any one star ratings at the current time with any of the books that I've read I just don't give out one stars um, so that one was pretty easy I just, I just don't have it but uh, for a book to be a one star, it means that it would have been a, been a book that I finished and afterwards I completely regretted my time reading that book. Like that's how bad it has to be for me to completely regret having read the book in the first place. So moving on to two stars. Two stars are always tricky for me because they're the ones that I feel the worst about in terms of giving a book a two star rating. Um, because if it's under a three star, it means that I don't recommend it. Um, that I just didn't enjoy it enough to see enough positives in it for me to give it as a recommendation to someone else. That doesn't mean that it's this horrible book, it just means that it not only wasn't for me, but there was just enough things I saw in it that I just wouldn't recommend it to people who read books um, that have the same taste as me. Um, because if I didn't enjoy it, I feel like they wouldn't enjoy it as well. Um, so for me, if a book is a two star, it means that there could have been some positives, but overall there was just more negatives than positives, in my opinion. And then moving on to three star. So three star is not a bad book by any means. It means that it was probably well done, well written, I read the whole thing, I enjoyed it, um, but it's most likely going to be a book that I probably read once but not going to reread in the future or if I listen to it as an audiobook or read it as an ebook it's not going to be a book that I want to purchase as a physical book to add to my collection. Um, again, doesn't mean it's a bad book, it just means that I enjoyed it during the time that I read it and I do recommend it to others but it's just probably not one of my most favorite books that I read that year. Um, then moving on, we have 3.5 stars. Um, I do go up 0.5 stars after 3 stars, um, just because I find it a little bit easier for me to track the difference um, between a 3 and a 4 star, 4 and a 5 star. 
So if a book is a 3.5 star, um, for me that means that it was pretty good and it was kind of heading in the direction of being a 4 star, um, and that it was a little bit better than just average. And then moving on to four star books. So for me, a four star book is a really good rating. It means that I not only really enjoyed the book, I highly recommend it to others. It had a lot of positive things that I enjoyed tremendously and I just, I just loved reading it so much. Um, but even though I enjoyed reading it so much, it's not one of those like automatic, holy grail, favorite five star books of all times. Again, it's not a bad thing whatsoever. I really, really enjoyed it if it's a four star, and it also means that I highly recommend it to others as well. And next up, we have uh, 4.5, which for me, I guess it's kind of cheating a little bit because honestly, all the books that end up being on my 4.5 list really could be five stars, but there's just one small thing about the book that it, maybe I just didn't like as much, and it could be a small thing, it could be a big thing, but if it, it's enough of a thing for me to be like, this book isn't perfect. It's not a perfect five star. So it's really, really good. It was almost a five star, but there's just one small thing that doesn't make it perfect. Therefore, it's only a 4.5. Again, all of these books highly recommend, most likely are rereads for me as well. I want to own them and have them in my collection of books. Okay, and then moving on to our five star books. So five star books are essentially, these were perfect. I wouldn't change a single thing about them. I enjoyed reading them so much. They just have like this warm and fuzzy feeling inside of me whenever I think of these books. These are the ones that are always end up being on like my top 10 list of favorite books of the year. And I will just not shut up about them. I'll recommend them to everybody until they are sick of me talking about these books. These are five star books for me. And also um, in the beginning when I started reading again, I got into the bad habit of any time a book made me happy, even remotely a little bit, I automatically gave it a five star. And then I had to kind of think back on that and realize that I was kind of giving too many books five stars and therefore it wasn't, it was like decreasing the value of that five star. So now I'm a little bit more picky when it comes to giving books a five star. Most of the time, if I really enjoyed a book, it's gonna end up only being like a four or a 4.5. Um, and it's a lot harder for me when it comes to rating for me to give a book a five star rating. So this was a nice short and sweet video to just kind of help you guys understand um, my star ratings and what that rating means for me when I give it to a book. So that way, moving on forward, if you guys enjoy my channel and like checking out some of my other videos, you guys are not confused when I'm giving star ratings to my books during wrap-ups or any book recommendations. Um, so like I said, this is just a system that I created for myself. Some people have similar systems, some people have completely different systems of how they rate their books, but this is just mine and I really like having a system in place because it helps me keep track of my thoughts when it comes to the book and remember how much I enjoyed a book when I read it. So if you like this kind of video, please make sure to give it a like, thumbs up, comment below, tell me what your star rating is, and remember to subscribe for more bookish content. I'm Millie, and thank you guys for jumping into the Nook Realm with me today. Bye!